Hey y'all, y'all come on in. I'm Melissa and today I am attempting to make a Oreo cheesecake with some layers inside. But before we get started, like, share, subscribe. Let's get started with this Oreo cheesecake. All right, y'all, let's get started. So have you been to the Cheesecake Factory and had the Oreo cheesecake? Well, we did a little digging on the internet and we found a, a good little representation of it. So we're going to give it a try today. But we're going to start off first, some mousse. So what I have in these bowls is five tablespoons of whole milk each in each bowl. But in this bowl, in that five tablespoons of milk, I'm going to add one envelope of gelatin mix, unflavored gelatin. We're just going to sprinkle that on top. And it's supposed to bloom for five minutes. All right, y'all. It's been five minutes. You see how it looks? It looks wrinkled. So that's what happens. Like apparently, after it sits for five minutes and it blooms. So we're gonna stir it, stir it up really quickly, and put it in the microwave at 15 second intervals until it is melted. So give it a quick stir. All right, that's the first 15 seconds. All right, it's been another 15 seconds, but be careful, you guys. This is milk. You can use a bigger bowl, because I did not, and it did overflow a little bit, even in those quick 15 seconds, but it looks pretty melted. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the remaining 15, 15, the remaining five tablespoons of milk. All right, so let's go to the next step. All right, so now we have to make some whipped cream. So we're gonna start with a cold bowl. I put it in the freezer. Cold beaters. Having a cold bowl and cold beaters helps it to mix quicker. It'll still mix if it's not, but having everything cold definitely helps. One cup of cold, heavy whipping cream. And one half cup of powdered sugar that's been sifted. I'm just gonna mix it up till we have some peaks. Not completely firm, but kind of medium. All right, so it's starting it's start to pick it up really good. So let's give it a quick check. I'm trying to get it where you can see how it's, it's a slight curve to it. So let's fold in, well, we're gonna whisk in our um, gelatin mix along with one teaspoon of vanilla. There's the vanilla. Here comes the gelatin mix. So it says to whisk, not use a mixer. So let's see what we get. Looks like it's trying to do something. We want it to get to um, some stiff, firm peaks. We're gonna add in some crushed Oreos. I, I crushed up about a good 10 Oreos. And since it's a mousse, because you use the gel so you don't have to cook it, you refrigerate it for about one to two hours. So just crush up your Oreos. Dump them in there. Get my arm out the way. fold them in really quickly. I have a cake pan, so I just sprayed it, put some parchment paper down, and I put some, I'm gonna call them straps, just to be able to lift it out later after it's been cooled off. So you're just gonna put it in there, smooth it down, and refrigerate, and when you're ready to use it, all you gotta do is lift it out by the little straps, handles. All right, I'm just gonna smooth this out, and then I put it in the refrigerator. All right, now while the mousse is in the refrigerator chilling out, this is actually some box brownie mix. You can use cake mix. This is going to be the crust for our Oreo cheesecake. So you can use chocolate cake mix, 
we decided we're going to try some brownie mix and see how that goes. Whichever one you use, just follow the directions on the back of the box. And once you get that mixed net, just put it in the oven and bake according to the instructions on the box. And again, this I will be putting in a 9-inch cake pan as well. Everything is going to try to be the same size. All right, you guys, let's make the cheesecake portion of our Oreo cheesecake. So I have two bricks of cream cheese in the bowl already. And here's the third one. I got the good kind. I got the Philadelphia full fat. And these have been brought to room temperature. Just want to cream it real quick. Just the cream cheese by itself before we add anything. And it's been brought to room temperature and I do have two eggs and that's been brought to room temperature as, along with one cup of sour cream that's been brought to room temperature as well. And I'm going to add in one cup of sugar and two tablespoons of flour. And just remember, write down the sides of the bowl. Gotta get all those ingredients in there. Gotta get it from the sides and put them down, down in there. All right. So we're gonna mix that. And then we're gonna add in two eggs, one at a time. One. That's the second one. Just until the yellow is gone. Don't want to overdo it because cheesecake can be very finicky. So what I'm going to add now is one and a half teaspoons of vanilla, half teaspoon of salt, one cup of sour cream that's been brought to room temperature. Let me turn this off so I can get it in there. We're going to fold in some some more cookies, about 10 crushed up cookies. And then we're gonna layer it with cookies. There's just cookies, y'all, cookies. You like cookies, you're gonna have to like cookies for this. You can't have this and be like, oh, I don't like Oreos. I don't know if that's gonna work out well. But if you don't like Oreo, but you may like the golden ones, ooh, do that. All right. Let's see if I can't move this. So you guys can see that. See how creamy that is? That looks fantastic. So I'm just gonna get around those edges real quick. And then while I get around those edges, I can just fold in the, um, the Oreos. But you know, if this, if 10 chopped up Oreos is too many, cut back on it till you see fit. But you know, go for it. So just fold those in there. So that's all folded in there together. So let's go get our spring form pan. I have a nine inch spring form pan. All right, so I have my spring form pan. There is a parchment circle in there, but I sprayed the pan first. Then I added the parchment circle. That's, that way it'll just pop out easier. So we're gonna put half of this down. And then you just get some Oreos. And you just place them on top. All right, so I'm trying to dollop this so to make it a little easier to spread it around. So just get it all in there. All right, you guys, all those cookies been covered up. I'm gonna put it in the oven at 325. I'm gonna start it out at one hour, and then I'll go from there to see when this how it's gonna take for it to cook. I'll be back. All right, y'all, so one of the toppings I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna try to make some ganache. Y'all had ganache? It's just um, chocolate and heavy whipping cream. So what I have in this bowl is some chopped up baking chocolate. That's three ounces by weight. I use that. Then, because it's equal parts of each one, 
So this is three ounces, uh, not three ounces, four ounces of um, cinnamon sweet chocolate. I need four ounces of pavy cream. So let's measure it out. Get, it, get four ounces of cream. So just gonna pour it in here. Yeah, I know that. That's my smallest pot. Just gonna get some of it out. Just to make sure we are right at four ounces. Three point nine eighty nine. Let it settle. All right, close enough. That'll work just fine. So we're gonna simmer this on heat. So I'm just gonna let that simmer around the edges. Once it starts to simmer around the edges, we're gonna pour it on top of the chocolate and let it sit there for about 10-15 minutes to let that chocolate melt down. And then we're gonna stir it up. And after it's all stirred and fully melted, I'm just gonna leave it. I'm gonna cover it up. I'm gonna make sure I put the plastic on top of it because you don't want to skin the form on top. So it's on top of it and then I'm gonna leave it there all night long. So that way the next day, you can use it as a filling or as a frosting. That's the goal. All right, doesn't take it long because it's not that much in there. Just pour it on top. And then we're just gonna cover it up. All right, y'all, it's been about 15 minutes. So let's uncover it to see what we're looking like to see if it worked. So we're just gonna start in the middle and just stir it in. All right, that looks pretty good. I didn't have to strain it, I just kept stirring it up. Look how smooth that is. I'ma cover it up and just leave it. So that way, later on, I could just spread it like frosting. All right, y'all. All right, y'all, so I have all of my layers ready to go. So what we're gonna do to put this together, we're gonna start with just a little bit of chocolate frosting, just to put it at the bottom of the cake circle, just to keep it in place. Not a lot, just, you don't need a lot of it. Just a little bit. You don't even need that much. Just, just enough to keep it in place because you don't want it to move around. And with that Kirk, the Kirk with the cake circle, pull it right off. That's the first layer. And we're gonna just go all, we're going all in today, y'all. So this is not for the person that may not want a lot of sugar today. This is not that dessert. Cause th there's, there's sugar going on today. I'm gonna eat some of this sugar today. She gonna eat some of this sugar today. I she hear that. Sure is. So you, you see how it's sliding around? That means I didn't put enough down on there. Next is the actual cheesecake. So I don't make cheesecake very often. I can count on one hand how many times I've made it. So I don't know what it's supposed to do if it's cracked on top. So I have a so it's cracked. It cooked in the in the in the refrigerator. How is it gonna cook in the refrigerator? I don't know. When you figure that out, you tell me now. So it cooked in the oven 325 for one hour, and then I turned the oven off, popped the door open for like two hours, then I put it in the refrigerator for like overnight because I did this yesterday. So I don't know, y'all. I, I don't know. That's all right. I eat crust and cheesecake. <laughs> so we're just gonna open up this um, spring form pan and take our cheesecake out. We got a cake circle. The, we got parchment paper at the bottom of this. There's that. Oh, that looks pretty good. Oh, that looks good. Now, the other cake circle. Now, if you want to, you see how there's ridges? Ridges. You can level that off. Serrated knife. I'm just gonna get the, the parchment paper from the brownie to hold it down just to level it off, to get those, um, those ridges off. Just go all the way across. And 
and there you go and you know whatever falls on the counter you know what to do with that right you eat it snack mm -hmm. you just eat it now remember I did put a parking circle at the bottom of this as well so we hoping for good things look at that came right off all right I had to go get me a little assistance it's gonna be my cake lifter here to help us place it on here so we can get this uh, parchment paper off. Let's see what these straps gonna do for it. Trying to get them so everybody can see. I may need my cake lifter again too. All right, y'all, I got all that parchment paper off. So now I'm just trying to position the mousse on top. This is one of those desserts. You don't make this just be, just for um for kicks and giggles. You got to have a purpose. <laughs> all right, y'all. I had to fight for it, but I did get all the parchment paper off of it. And then I used this to help me out to get it on there pretty right. good. I made the ganache. And when I made the ganache, you know, I wanted to see, I wanted to thicken overnight and set so it can be kind of like a frosting. Well, here it is. It's not falling out. Let's give it a stir. See what it's looking like. See how smooth? So it's it's very smooth. It looks a little rough, but we're gonna go, we're gonna ride with it. Just go real easy. I need a different spatula. Oh, you know what? Let me use this one. See if this will help me. I got a longer spatula, a longer offset spatula just to see if that will help me spread it a little bit better. I'm going to keep spreading and see how it turns out at the end. All right, you guys, so this is the top with the ganache on it. Can you see? Ooh, y'all saw that move. I'm going to put it back down. No, we don't. I don't need to drop the entire cheesecake, y'all. That's not gonna work out well. You see how thick it already is? That's basically a three-layer cheesecake, y'all. Chocolate frosting. So we're gonna put that on the outside, and we're just gonna decorate it like that. Cause you know the ganache is just the baking chocolate and um, heavy whipping cream, and a little time to let it set. All right, y'all, I put the cheese hay back in the refrigerator. Just let it sit for a little bit. Make sure that the mousse was set, that the cheesecake was good, and the, and the frosting is good. So make it look a little bit pretty, add, add a little frosting tip on here. So we're just going to make some dollops here. There we go. So let me go grab a knife and a plate. We're gonna cut it, see what we get. I'll be back. All right, y'all, so it's all together. Regular cakes, I can work with a whole lot better, but this cheesecake, he look a little suspect, but I hope he tastes a little better than it look. So let's try it out. Yes, I had my, my fork and my plate in a chair. It's okay. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh at you. <laughs> I forgot to go grab it. Oh, I put it in the chair and I left it. Okay, so let's cut it and let's see what it looks like. Now remember this, 
um, brownie layer, cheesecake layer, mousse layer covered in chocolate and ganache. So let's see what it's going to do. Stuff like this, you don't need a thick slice because um, there's a lot going on in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to turn it sideways so I can show y'all. Let's hope I don't drop it. Can y'all see it? Can you see the layers? I hope you can. Bottom is the brownie, and then a, la a little thin layer of frosting, the cheesecake, and then the mousse. All right, let's see. Can y'all see the inside pretty good? If I hold it up, can y'all see that pretty good? Do I need to lift it? That looks good? All right. All right. So, I don't even know where to start first. Let's try to get a little bit of all of it on the fork at one time and I'm throwing it all over the place. <laughs> yes. Mm. Ooh. I know that was two bites. It's okay. We're going to roll with that. Oh. Oh, I want some more. Y'all. If you didn't understand, this is extremely good. It may not look it, but this is so good. If you don't want to do the work, go buy it. But if you want to try it out for yourself, make this cheesecake. All right, y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.